Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Amy here playing Animal Crossing New Horizons but I am in my other game because I have decided that I am going to do a few dream address visit videos. So the first dream address in this series that I want to visit is um, Shrek Horizons which is called Mango Mangolada which is a Shrek themed island and I love Shrek. Shrek is one of my favourite movies. I have seen them all many times. Like I was watching them a few weeks ago. So I seen this on um I seen this on Twitter and a few other channels visited it. And not many, but I'm gonna put the information on the creator of this island in the description below so you can follow them on Instagram and Twitter and you can visit also visit their dream address. So let's see. Now I haven't been here before. I watched a little bit of a video but I didn't want to spoil it just to make sure that it was actually like a proper Shrek island and it was. So um, they could have made some changes but I don't know. But I guess we'll see. And obviously I've wore like all green and I've changed my character to green. So I have, oh and their flag is so pretty. Now open your eyes. You are now in a deep slumber, dreaming peacefully of an island named Mangolada. When you wish to awaken from this dream, you need only lie down in this bed. Awesome. Okay, so. Okay, this is pretty cool. Let me see. Right, I think I'll start the tour off like actually at the airport. If I can figure out how to get to the airport. Okay, so I'm going to start right at the front entrance when you come into the island. And this is a reference to the first movie because Shrek just like walked right through these. Um, you have the little people who were singing at the start of the movie, uh, some Lord Farquads. As you enter the castle, it's very pretty. You've got lovely fountains on each side. So if we walk in here, I think we will go this way first. You have a little uh, Shrek gift. So you have a gift shop for ev all your Shrek needs. So that is pretty awesome actually. Um, oh, over here, this was the um, this was the play scene, and wasn't it Shrek Forever After? This was when they did the play, when Prince Charming was really jealous. <laughs> and then you've got DIYs sitting here, and if you go over this way, it takes you back to the town plaza and the this must be the banquet scene from the second movie I think oh no it's a wedding ah this is awesome from the first movie so this is actually the wedding scene there's Shrek's outfit there and you have Fiona and Lord Farquaad up here when he crashed the wedding even the detail as far as like the dragon bursting in is so awesome um, obviously I think this deer is supposed to be Donkey and let's see who this is welcome so this is awesome this is supposed to be obviously the chapel or the church where they got married okay so I think I will continue the tour over this bridge so this brings us to far far away so a uh, far box coffee here is Welcome, another character from the town. Um, ah, so there's the swan egg. Okay, so is this from... That must be from the fourth movie. And then you have Shrek's beach. Not much to... I suppose it's all on the land, really. So, Farbuck's Coffee. You've got all the houses here. This is awesome. And then even the palm trees. This is awesome. This is awesome. Um, the poison apple. Oh, is this the... Um, 
is this the bar that the um one of the ugly stepsisters run it must be yes this is awesome oh my goodness where the ugly stepsister works awesome this is so cool and then the doors are blocked obviously i'll check upstairs i'm not sure if there's anything else upstairs oh is this where he made the deal oh the money so I must have made the deal to keep Fiona locked away. Or if I remember correctly, it was with the fairy godmother he made that deal. This is like, um, all the movies have just like mashed into one in my head. <laughs> it's hard to know the difference between them. And here is a little bakery. Far, far away with the tops. That's, all, that's like a really good idea too. Um... And this is a wee clothing store. Awesome. Seating area. Seating area. Oh, is this where this is where the fairy godmother did her um her incredible performance to um I Need a Hero. Such a classic. One of my favourite scenes in the movies was her doing I Need a Hero. That's awesome. And the I love the use of the clothes to um you know, make it look like. Oh, and you have the masquerade mask. As it was a ball. Mm, nice. And then you've got this chess set, lovely chairs. Um. Oh, King Harold's grave. And then there's a frog when he got turned into a frog. Rapunzel's tower and far far away she was um quite the body so she was in the third one and this must be the potions because of the little design of the little person this must be the furry godmother's um potion place it is because this is where you come in to make the appointment and Back here must be the potions room, is it? Where Shrek... Yes, the dark room where Shrek stole the potion here to become handsome. This, like... There's been a lot of detail put into this island. I love it. A Shrek-themed island. It's like, how could you beat it? And then I wonder if they, there's some other rooms I can go into. I can't go into that room. And I can't go into that room. Um, I'll go to the basement first. This could be where the actual factory is, where they work. Yes, so, oh, they've actually made, like, they've tried to make the, the like, conveyor belts. So they have all the workers down here, and they have little conveyor belts. That is really cool. Um, I'll see what's upstairs. I'm not sure what is upstairs. Oh, nice. So this must be um, her office. Uh, this must be the fairy godmother's office. Yes, it's pink. Very, um, very pretty. Awesome. Now, I wonder what, there's still, like, loads of this island to explore. There's, like, a lot of detail in this. I got a bit sad, though, seeing King Harald's grave. <laughs> that was quite sad. So, moving on... If you go down here slightly, there's just more houses as part of Far Far Away. And post office, pumpkin carriage. Then the beach just looks like a chilled place. Oh, hello. Welcome. I think they all just say welcome. Okay, so just seems like a chilled out place. There's just a few houses for the residents of Far Far Away. Um, if I go over here. So let me just check where else I need to um, go looking. So I've seen all of that. I have seen all of down there. So I think I need to make my way up to the second tier. So here is all the gnomes. Oh, this must be... 
Is this the swamp? This is so cool. Oh, and there's a little bit over there that I'll need to go to. So this must be the swamp. Because there's like loads of gnomes. Like, you know, the furry tail creatures. I beware ogre and there's tents. Um, a campsite. Oh, this is from the first movie. Where like all the furry tail creatures were being like taken away. Because look, there's the wee bird that was put in. And there's the woman that took Donkey up and said, I've got a talking donkey and he wouldn't talk. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to think if this is a, like a reference to the movie. Ah, yes. Here is the... Um, onion patch that they were walking through in the yellow flowers from the first movie hi dressed as he's dressed as lord farquaad yeah this is like i have to say there's so much detail put in and there's a gym down there the yellow flowers that they walk through all the sunflowers and then over here yes this was when Shrek did the wrestling, so he did against all the soldiers, and then he was picked to go get Fiona. And all the barrels. This is really cool. So I think the next thing I will look at is Shrek's house. If I can actually get round that way. Okay, so he oh here's the divide that um, Donkey made when it was their both their swamps after they came back from um, rescuing the princess. I feel like I have like too much knowledge of this movie. I think it's quite <laughs> I like so I'm like saying so much. Oh, this is nice and simple because he had his couches, his fire, his wooden furniture, his shabby floor, and the wall that looks a bit broken. Awesome, so the doors are blocked, so I'll go upstairs and see if they have anything upstairs. I wonder if it's just his bedroom. It probably is just his bedroom. Yeah, it's his bedroom. He's just got a little cabin bed, little single bed. Oh, awesome. And then just little barrels and stuff. There's like, I love, yeah, the swamp's really cool, actually. It's, it's a cool one. Okay, so I've come to these steps. So obviously this is to the castle. Yes, the drawbridge that Donkey and Shrek goes over. The lava down at the bottom. Um, the castle with the towers and the fire-breathing dragon. Oh, and there's Puss in Boots. Is that a picture of Puss in Boots? With flowers around it. That's really cool. So let's see what they've done inside here with the castle. Oh, is it like a banquet table? So they have a banquet table in here. I'll go to the side room. It's very grand looking too with the lovely like paintings on the wall. Very castle-esque looking. Um, a bathroom, but it's very dark. Just a very dark bathroom. I suppose you need a bathroom if you're gonna, if Fiona's lived there her whole life. I mean, obviously she needs to go to the toilet at some point. And then is this door? No, this door is not blocked. So let's see what is in this door. Because I'm guessing her bedroom would be upstairs. Uh, this is the kitchen. I suppose it's dark though because the castle did look quite like abandoned. Because obviously like no one was in it except for Fiona. Um, I looked in the basement first. And see what's down there. Oh, so this is, is that Lord Farquaad and all the soldiers? Oh, there's Gingy! Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Oh my, that's so funny. That is so good. <laughs> With his broken legs. And all the soldiers. And then he's got the jails in here. And then, okay, that's awesome. That was such a good touch. Just gingy with no legs. I, I'm guessing the bear 
at the other side of like far far away is supposed to be like the huge gingerbread man from the second movie oh there's fiona's room and the little dog her little dog that she had um okay her books and her bed all her teddies oh some pictures and she's a picture of shrek and a picture of puss and boots in here a little clock awesome I think I have one more area that I didn't actually look at. Um, I'm just going to double check that I've been everywhere on the map before um, I move on. So, yes, I've been over there. That's the where they fought in the wrestling ring. I've been over there. Yes, it's an area in the beach that I haven't been to yet. Excuse me. Um, thank you. <laughs> um, so I need to go down to the area in the beach. There's Tangy. I know a streamer that would love to have seen Tangy. Because I'm pretty sure it's a reference over here. It's, I th yeah, it's the, um, it's the child's birthday. One of Shrek's children's birthday. And this is where he, like, smashes the cake. And then his, you know, he said he wants to, life to go back to normal. And he makes a deal with Rumpelstiltskin. And you don't make a deal with him. So that's a nice touch how they had that from the fourth movie is the child's birthday party. That's awesome. So this was the first video of my island tours. Well like dream addresses. Yeah my dream tours. Um, I would like to visit some more. I just thought that like I love Shrek. I am a massive fan of the movies. I'm actually probably while I'm editing this going to put on a Shrek movie. So I am. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to put on a Shrek movie and uh, watch it. So I am. And um, yeah, so you can comment down below any dream addresses that um, I should visit. You know, like um, maybe themed islands, movie themed islands. I would love to see them. Um, I am so glad to be back on YouTube doing what I love, which is making videos. I know that I haven't been on it for a while, but... You know it's nice to be back and yeah thank you so much for watching the first video of my dream address series and i will be back with another one so until next time i will see you all in the next video that i make